everyone, it's Christina. Welcome to this episode of Wag Woof Love. I'm so happy you're joining me today. Let's cover a few things before we start this week's episode. We're releasing new episodes on Thursday starting, well, today. And have you subscribed to the podcast? If not, do so now wherever you're listening to this podcast. And if you have a question for myself or Eve, my guest trainer, well, go to the wagwooflove.com website and send in a question from there. We may answer it on the show for you. All right, so today I want to talk about an important part of Fido's grooming, and that is brushing Fido. Brushing your dog is an important part of keeping them healthy. Not only does it keep the tangles and the mats from becoming painful or irritating for them, it helps distribute the natural oils through their coat that makes their coat shiny and pretty and healthy. So there's good reasons to do that for their physical health. But also, it's a bonding time with you. It's a time that you're spending with them, and giving them attention is good for their emotional health. They get that connection, that that uh, packness that they really enjoy. And with brushing, It's really important for you choosing that time of day when you're going to give them a brush. Is it going to be in the morning when you get up and you're starting the day? Or is it going to be like what I do? My dogs get brushed in the evening before bed. It means that the day is winding down and that's their bonding time. It means that the day is coming to an end. And as that time uh, we're brushing them, it's a signal for them. The bed is right around the corner. Also, it makes for a nice massage. With massage, it's good for healthy skin and good circulation. While you're going to choose to brush your Fido, there are so many different types of brushes out there. So choosing the one that's right for you is important. Picking and starting with the appropriate brush is important for your dog because there are so many out there. Because if your dog has short hair, whether it has long hair? Do they shed? Do they have a double coat? Do they have an undercoat? They all can use a different type of brush that'll be right for them. And with those many kinds of brushes out there for your dog, you want the right brush because it makes it easier. You want it to be as effortless as possible to get rid of all of that loose hair, get rid of those tangles, get rid of that dander, and using the right brush will help you do that. Also, it's important to use the right brush to get those natural oils distributed through the coat. Getting that loose fur out can be fun and a relaxing massage for your Fido. And, well, you're probably very aware that the more you remove by hand by brushing Fido, uh, the less it's going to end up in your house, on the floors, on your clothes, on the furniture, in your air vents. So getting as much as you can removed by hand, well, it stops it from ending up all over your house. (laughs) Okay, so what kind of a brush do you want? There are a ton out there. I like a general all-purpose self-cleaning brush. It has bent silver-like bristles. Uh, They're kind of bent, they're short, and they're like fine wires. And it makes it easy to penetrate deep into the dog's outer fur and for the undercoat. When it gets full of a self-cleaning brush, you press the button on top over your trash bin, and it pushes the hair out, makes it easily cleanable to get that dander and fur off of the brush. I like the all-purpose brush. It's really good for short-haired dogs, because short-haired dogs, they need brush too. Some short-haired dogs have a double coat, they have that undercoat, that that type of the curved bristles so that they can easily reach the skin without scratching them so it can get through that top coat to their undercoat, removing the loose hairs along the way, collecting that fur and dander while you're brushing it all at once. It's a good all-purpose brush. And like I said, it's great for those short-haired dogs. Now, if your dog has an undercoat, Or if your dog has long hair, you may want a dual-sided brush. And they're good. It's an all-purpose brush. And by meaning of me saying a dual-sided brush, it means that it's a type of a brush that has long, round tip 
pins on one side and they look like silver pins. And on the other side, you have nylon bristles. The nylon bristles are good for lifting the dander, distributing the important natural oils across your dog's skin coat, while the pins can help separate the hair and remove that loose hair from your dog's coat. And that's why it's nice to have that dual-sided brush. Uh, they usually have a long handle on them, so you can comfortably grip it and hold on to it while you're brushing your pup's coat. And there are a lot of different types of specialty brushes out there. One that I like, uh, and it's a very specialized brush, is called the Furminator. Now, the Furminator is a good brush, but it needs to be used with caution because you need to have a dog that has an undercoat because it's specifically for the dogs that have a shedding type of a coat. So if you have a dog that has a shedding type of a coat, the Furminator can get in there and get that loose fur on that second coat. And it's great, but uh, make sure that you have that specific type of a dog before using such a specialized brush. Now, I like a mitt brush. A mitt brush is a type of a brush. It's fun to use, it's relaxing, it's massaging for your dog while it slicks down their coat, which pulls up the the loose fur and the dander onto the gloves. They're easy to use. Uh, they come in usually one mitt or two. And this can be the type of a dog brush for a dog who may be afraid of a brush. If you've adopted an older dog and they're not used to being brushed, well, this may be a good way of easing a, a dog into being brushed and getting them into that process, getting them to trust that feeling, that good feeling. I really enjoy that for my dogs, and my cat enjoys it too. The cats really love a brush because it, it's good for their fur too, and uh, it's good for all breeds. So, and as I said earlier, brushing your dog is a good way of bonding and ending the day, and it's good to do in between visits to the groomer. I like my dogs to go to the groomer for bathing and nail trimming. I my dogs are big and I don't want to do that at home. It can be too much of a mess, so it's just nice to bring them to the groomer. If you do your dog at home, you can get special brushes to help bathe your dog at home. There's many different types out there. They're usually a rubber. I know that Kong has a good one. And uh I bathe my dogs a couple of times a year. That's all they really need. They don't need to be bathed as often as a human. But when you bring them home, brushing them keeps uh, that fresh smelling dog that you brought home from the groomer. And it also keeps them feeling good. It's a nice massage for them. It keeps that smelling good as much as they can for Fido. All right. Now I want to say thank you very much for joining me today. Subscribe to the podcast wherever you get your podcasts from. And join us starting each Thursday. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> No, no, no.